Joining us now by phone is the governor of the great state of Vermont, uh, Peter Shumlin. Governor, I want to thank you for making time for us. I'm sorry that we can't see you live as we had planned, but I understand that the weather gods are not cooperating with us tonight. Well, that's what I hear, but it's wonderful to be with you, Rachel. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, the, the state Senate uh, in Vermont has just voted overwhelmingly uh, to pass what looks like a single-payer health care plan uh, for the state of Vermont. Is that the way that the country should understand what's happening in Vermont? Are you moving towards single payer? Absolutely. We really are. We believe we'll be the first state in the country that passes a health care system that really does a few things. First, treats health care as a right and not a privilege. Second, we want health care to follow the individual and not be a requirement of the employer, which we think will be a huge jobs creator. And finally, we want an affordable quality care system where everybody is covered. After this vote today um, in the Senate, I realize the legislative process uh, is not over. There's still work to be done. Are, are you confident that you will end up signing this bill, that you'll get the kind of bill that you campaigned on, and it will be something that you will make into law? Absolutely. Mm. Okay. In terms of getting the federal waivers that you need here in order to enact this, even if you do make it Vermont state law, uh, President Obama told all the governors in the country, including you, that waivers would be available three years earlier than health reform originally promised if a state's plan uh, covers as many people as federal health reform with at least the same level of coverage in a way that doesn't add to the federal deficit. Um, it's nice to have the option, I imagine, to do this early, but are you confident that you can meet all of those, those standards? Well, I am. And, you know, I keep telling folks here that I think that the waivers from Washington uh, are the least difficult part. Frankly, the difficult part is to design the first health care system in America that makes sense, uh, that does treat health care as a right, not a privilege, but also that is affordable. And, you know, the story in Vermont is not unlike the other 49 states. I just see this as a critical ingredient in creating jobs and economic opportunity. Health care premiums are killing my businesses. They're killing middle class Vermonters. We have health care premiums rising at a rate that is not sustainable. And so what we're trying to do is have an affordable system uh, that applies to all Vermonters, gives us all quality health care, but spends our dollars on health care, not on insurance company profits, on waste, on collecting money, and the tremendous inefficiencies in the American system. I'm convinced that if we can design that system, we can get the waivers from Washington, and we will. First of all, the president has been extraordinarily cooperative in saying, hey, I believe the states should be the laboratories for change, and I want you to be, as long as you don't reduce standards, which we're not. So it's actually a fairly Republican argument argument that we're making, which is, hey, federal government, let us go our own way. We're not asking for one additional dollar. We're just asking that you allow us to spend our dollars the way we wish. And I think we can get there. Vermont already has better access to health insurance uh, than most other states, thanks in part to government action to make sure that uh, kids are covered, to make sure that people are covered um, uh, based on their income more broadly than they are in many other states. Is the way that you are um, explaining this to Vermonters, the way that this is being debated, what you think you're going to come up with, something that can broadly be understood as Medicare for all? Will it be a familiar-seeming program like that for people who understand what Medicare is? Absolutely. It really is Medicaid for all, publicly financed, following the individual, a right and not a privilege. Are you, um, I don't mean to be weird, but are you worried at all about talking about this out loud? I mean, is this, has, this, has this been easier to do in Vermont because you have not been the focus of national attention for this so far? Well, you know, it, it, we haven't done it yet. We're making great progress and we're going to get there. But I think the story to tell when we get there and we will is that health care change, real change, to get America on the same footing as the other developed countries who are eating our, jo our lunch on jobs and other economic opportunities, is going to come from the small states for the simple reason that we don't have the pharmaceutical industry, the insurance companies, the folks that are making so much profit off our illness here in Vermont with huge lobbying campaigns. They just don't really notice us all that much. So we're thinking that we can get this done. We know we can. And I've always believed that real health care reform will come from the smaller states who, aren't, who are not so beholden to these for-profit corporations, but who actually work for their citizens. And, you know, health care is important. But the other challenge here, and the reason it's going to happen is our health care system in Vermont is not sustainable. Uh, we're losing our rural health care providers. They can't live under the reimbursement system where they get 40 cents on a dollar from 
one patient and 50 from another. And, you know, occasionally someone comes into the provider's office to the doctor's office and gives them a dollar for a dollar's work. You know, they ought to have a halo on their head. Uh, we're losing our small hospitals. They're having trouble balancing their budgets. So we've got to use our health care dollars for health care. Get the insurance companies off our health care providers' backs. We have a quality system. We've just got to make it affordable, and we think we can. Now, the math works like this. Ten years ago, this little state was spending $2.5 billion collectively on health care. Today, we're spending $5 billion, and my folks tell me that we'll be spending another $1.6 billion by 2015 if we don't make real change, if we don't go to a single-payer system. That's huge money. That's $2,500 every year out of the pocket of every single living Vermonter in a state where our incomes on average are stagnant. They're the same as they were 10 years ago. So we've got to get this done for financial reasons, for ethical reasons. I think the Green Mountain State will be the first to get it done. Governor Peter Shumlin of Vermont, uh, I know this vote was important to you today, sir, so congratulations on that, and, and thanks for taking time to discuss it with us. Really appreciate well, it, sir. Thanks so much for having us on. Hey, so uh, it turns out that there is genuine grassroots fury at Republican members of Congress who voted a week and a half ago to end Medicare. Welcome to your first town hall meetings, Republican class of 2010. I'm sorry it's so loud in here. Uh, we have some kind of incredible new footage I don't think anybody else has shown nationally. Uh, that is coming up next.